Hello, everyone. Hope you are doing well. My name is Vince Park, and I'm a senior at Marquette University studying finance and political science and a healthcare analyst for the Applied Investment Management Program. With the help of Andrew Dua and Mitch Cam, I will be recommending an investment in HMS holding ticker HMSY. To introduce the company, HMS Holdings is a healthcare information technology firm offering cost containment and management solutions to healthcare providers, payers, and patients. The company delivers real-time information and utilizes analytics to customers better coordinate care, maximize cost savings, and reduce administrative overhead. This has led to an average of $13 million in cost savings for each customer per year. The firm is headquartered in Irving, Texas, and employs just over 3,000 individuals. The company segments its revenues into three distinct categories. Coordination of benefits, which ensures that the right payer pays the right healthcare claims. Payment integrity, which utilizes data and automates risk management. And population health management, which deploys predictive analytics and customer engagement strategies to identify opportunities. Both payment integrity and population health management represent the firm's fastest growing segments. The company has a national presence and has contracts with over 40 state governments and 350 plus uh, managed cats. Over here on the right side here, you can see some key metrics and the price performance since its IPO in 1992. It is recommended that the AIM Domestic Equity Fund purchase shares of HMS Holdings at $27.13 a share with a price target of $33.58 a share, representing a potential upside of 24%. The investment thesis is that Nearly a third of the $3.5 trillion that the United States spends on healthcare every year, the most in terms of in the world in terms of aggregate and per capita figures, is attributable to fraud, inefficiencies, and waste. HMS is a compelling value proposition to address and reduce this deadweight loss while introducing healthcare partners to advanced analytics represents a significant opportunity for growth in the long term. Some key points the firm has a proven value add to healthcare systems and patients. The company faces abundant business development opportunities. There's secular growth within the healthcare payer solutions market. The, firm, the firm's valuation supports the investment thesis with strong upside potential. And the firm is, serves as an attractive LBO today, which I will touch on later. On the right side here, you can see the addressable market for HMS Holdings, which is expected to grow to about 55 billion by 2026. The first investment driver is post-disruption tailwinds. After weathering peak COVID-related disruptions in quarter two of 2020, pent-up demand and secondary symptoms of the COVID-19 pandemic represent major growth catalysts. Immense stress on healthcare systems has underscored the exigence of cost management and accelerated demand for such services. In addition to that, mass unemployment has powered a 5 to 10% national surge in Medicaid enrollment, leading to higher claims volumes and coverage for HMS. Additionally, higher uptake of HMS's cost containment solutions not only advance their primary business, but it opens avenues for ancillary offerings as well, providing both core product and cross-selling opportunities for the firm. On the bottom here, you can see two pie charts, which represent the percentage of Americans who will lose their insurance coverage as a result of the pandemic. And on the bottom right side, you can see a a guide to cost management in the age of COVID-19. The second investment driver is a dominion over data. HMS's war chest of data provides a competitive edge and point of entry to advanced technologies that unlock 5.5 billion in cost savings for customers every year. HMS stewards over the largest eligibility data warehouse in the country, representing 300 million unique lives in at least 90% of the Medicaid population competitive advantage in today's data-driven world. The firm also provides customers easy accessibility to advanced analytics and technologies, such as machine learning and automation, which present enormous opportunities to enhance operational efficiencies and provide better patient experiences. On the right side, you can see a little uh, diagram just demonstrating the power of each technology. Finally, HMS services expand margins not only by reducing costs, on the top line as well by deploying predictive analytics and natural language processing to identify opportunities to address unmet needs. And this has been applicable to both the customers that HMS serves and HMS's own business. On the bottom left, you can see the, the firm's three-year growth for its sales and its operating income 
and you can see a significant margin expansion. On the bottom right side, you can see a little diagram showing the immense amount of data that the firm processes and receives every year. The third and final investment driver is business development. Strategic advances in 2019 and forthcoming growth opportunities position HMS incredibly well to continue expanding its business. To touch on M&A and strategic investments, management is currently actively reviewing M&A opportunities and according to its latest earnings call, sees a very favorable environment. In quarter four of 2019, the firm acquired through cash accents, which significantly expand HMS's Medicare coordination of benefits coverage with clients including Blue Cross and Blue Shield plans. Additionally, in quarter four, the company acquired a 13% stake and a board seat in MetaVisor, which represents the firm's first meaningful step into international expansion. In quarter three of last year, the firm acquired Vitreous Health, which provides enhanced exposure to artificial intelligence, predictive analytics, and risk intelligence through the firm's platform, Ellie, helping customers better coordinate patient care and identify opportunities. Finally, in October 2020, Bloomberg reported that the company is exploring strategic options, including a sale, though the company has not confirmed this report. However, HMS represents a highly attractive acquisition target for both strategic buyers and financial sponsors as a clean balance sheet with low leverage, a substantial intangible asset base, stable cash flow generation, proven management team, and significant growth opportunities. On the organic growth side, the firm faces significant white space opportunities. With, and beyond the firm's current scope, there are gargantuan opportunities to address cost containment within healthcare. Additionally, throughout the pandemic, the firm has been rolling out several new products, including mobile functionality, multi-channel locations, as well as uh, opportunities within states. In order to reach an intrinsic value for HMS, a five-year DCF analysis was conducted. Using a WAC of 7.8% and an exit multiple based on precedent transactions of 14.3 times EBITDA, a DCF intrinsic value of $34.45 was calculated, representing a standalone upside of 26.9%. Sensitivity analysis on the WAC of 50 plus or minus 50 basis points, an exit multiple of 10%, produced a DCF valuation range from $31.06 to $37.95. Additionally, a relative valuation was conducted using a pure average EV to EBITDA multiple of 23.2 times and a peg ratio of 2.6 times, representing an average relative valuation of $31.57. Weighting the three models, 70, 15, 15 respectively, an intrinsic value of $33.58 was computed, representing an upset of 24%. HMS does not pay dividend. As mentioned in a previous slide, HMS is reportedly exploring strategic options, including a sale. We conducted a precedent transactions analysis to better understand the M&A environment for healthcare pair solutions on two somewhat recent transactions that were highly relevant. As you can see here, the purchase multiples and the premiums are quite high. Additionally, research from Credit Suisse and their extremely conservative LBO model shows that HMS can generate a modest return for private equity sponsors if taken private. The first investment in business risk is repeal of the Affordable Care Act. Much of HMS Holdings business takes advantage of the infrastructure established by Medicare, Medicaid, and the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare. Republican efforts to repeal Obamacare could significantly disrupt HMS's data framework and contracts with government partners. While the company does not have a public stance on the support replacement of the late Ruth Bader Ginsburg and a nomination of Amy Coney Barrett or the potential repeal of the Affordable Care Act, campaign contribution records from OpenSecrets.org show that CEO Bill Lucia tends to donate to Democrats. However, HMS Holdings also has its own political action committee from which Republicans have received the vast majority of donations in 2020. HMS is also headquartered in the Republican state of Texas. The next risk is the cybersecurity and data privacy. Because of the highly sensitive nature of the data HMS stewards over, a successful cyber attack or data breach can significantly harm the firm's reputation in business. Fully, HMS has not been successfully attacked by hackers in the past decade at least, and the firm recognizes the increasingly prominent risk of cyber attacks. The final major risk that we identify is a resurgence in COVID-19. 
If healthcare systems and governments become inundated with a resurgence in COVID-19 cases and hospital, hospitalizations, revenues may be delayed or lost. Previous surges in cases in quarter two forced some customers to pause services with, with HMS, leading to delayed revenues. To touch on management, HMS is led by an exceptional management team with profound healthcare, analytics, and government expertise. The board of directors consists of a deep bench of healthcare, business, and investment professionals, and three out of nine members are women. There's currently one person of color on the board. To conclude, HMS Holdings faces tremendous opportunities to address one of the most significant challenges holding back the United States, the world's most expensive and inefficient healthcare system. The company's industry-leading technology solutions and proven ability to drive down costs for its customers make it the prime choice for healthcare constituents seeking cost containment solutions. And with pressures from the pandemic accelerating demand among unaddressed markets, HMS is well, kept, well positioned to capitalize and expand its business. Considering the firm's compelling value proposition, market leadership, and forthcoming ap- avenues for growth, HMS Holdings represents unique investment opportunities to support healthcare innovation and progress. Thank you, and please feel free to reach out with any questions.